So Jokmok Winter Market is actually a tradition that's more than 400 years. The Swedish king said that this is the only place where people are allowed to trade. And then they could have people here controlling and taking tax from the people. They made several of these marketplaces all around northern Sweden and Finland, close to the coast. And Jokmok Winter Market have been able to run every year since 1605, I think, something like that. So more than 400 years. But two years we didn't have winter market. That was the two years when we had the pandemic. The only two years when it ever had stopped. We didn't stop because it was World War I, World War II or whatever. It always continued the market. But Covid, that stopped everything. So for two years we have had a digital market. Now it's the first time that we actually are able to run this market again. During the winter market, it's a chance for a lot of people from northern Sweden to actually meet up again. It's outdoor people coming here, people who are hiking in the mountains during the summer. They come here, meet their friends, and it's actually more like a tribe who going to this place every year and meet friends. So for me and for a lot of other people, Jokmok Winter Market is a meeting place. Uh -huh. this, this is Maya, uh -huh. who have been on several dog sled tours. <laughs> Both short ones and long ones. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> nice to see you, Maya. Yeah, you too. Stronger. You too. <laughs> <laughs> The winter market is always the first Thursday of February. Every year, first Thursday of February. Sometimes up to 80,000 people visit Jokmok during this day. That's a lot. During the winter market, the school stops. And one of the school turns into a youth hostel. And this school, the small one, turns into a uh, exhibition place for handcrafter and artists and so on. The whole village transformed into something that is not a normal job. The whole village transformed into a marketplace. <laughs> During the evenings you find a lot of um, uh, concerts, dancing things, disco, pubs, everything. A lot of people drink a little bit too much. A lot of people have met their partner during the winter market and it's a real party and meeting and yeah it's fun but me like a lot of other people we work I don't know if you see that but it's minus 31 here now and it was minus 32 before and Stina sitting here and preparing breakfast and she's super happy because it's so cold are you happy i already been out one hour to take care of the dogs <laughs> i have been doing the important work inside here preparing the everything for the tour we are heading out on a three hour dog sled tour now with some clients the winter market will make shorter dog sled tours the guests are sitting as a passenger on the sled and we just make three hour tour with a coffee break out in the forest. And during the evening we make northern light tours and this year we were super lucky to get northern light on these tours.
the northern light just continue and it's really, really fast and quite strong. We have the full moon, almost full moon, and that destroy, not destroy, but it takes away some of the attention from the northern light. It's like light pollution, but from the moon. The moonlight itself is super beautiful, but when you want to look at the northern light, you prefer to not have the moon. Now Stina, shopping clothes, wool clothes here, you will see. Det kommer. Det ser lite ut som häxan i den kom fram. Do you want to say something, Sino? Oh, it's so fucking cold. <laughs> oh, I've undressed some of the clothes because I thought, well, we're going on town, so we don't need so much clothes, and now I'm freezing my butt off. <laughs> yes, the temperature start dropping now. It was minus 21 now, but it was 19 when I started the car, but it's because the engine is still warm. I think it's 24 or something. Yeah. Yeah, and this morning we had minus 32, but uh, now I'm also getting a bit tired, so then you freeze more. On the market like this, when you're walking around, you meet a lot of people that you haven't seen for a year, for two years, or three years, or a week. <laughs> so a lot of people you know that you're meeting. Jokmok's Winter Market is a meeting place actually I would say suddenly you see that people start packing up the cars with all the stuff that haven't been sold and they start preparing for the journey back home I usually find myself sitting here in the kitchen with a cup of tea and thinking about the winter market that have been and now it's one year to next market. I edit the video right now from this market and I hope you enjoy it. Otherwise wait for next one. Next one will not be about the winter market. Next one will be about something else. If you like the channel, if you like the videos, thumbs up, you know what to do, subscribe, all that things. See you again. Ciao.